Welcome back to Elden Ring. In this video, we are going through how to get the best weapon from the very start. Taking a look at the map, what you're going to want to do, after you've gone through the Cave of Knowledge, you come into Limgrave, you're going to see the first step. From here, instead of going north or anything like that, you're going to want to head over to the east. Over on the east, you're going to make your way all the way down to here, where you've got like the two little like cliffs, mountains, whatever you want to call them, and you've got the little path in between. You're going to come down here to this bridge, and when you get to this bridge, there's going to be a lot of enemies. Avoid them all. Try and avoid combat to the best you can, and keep making your way down into the Weeping Peninsula until you get to the Castle Morn Rampart, because that's going to be your first sight of grace. I'm going to head over there, because then we are heading down to here, which is actually Castle Morn. So as we fast travel, if you're not currently subbed to the channel, make sure you do sub turn notifications on. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. All support is greatly appreciated. And if you want to support me further as a creator, then check out the links in the description. And let's continue. So what I'm going to do is jump on my horse. If you have literally just started the game, you obviously won't have the horse. It doesn't take long to get your hands on it. But what you're going to want to do is go through the massive crack in the wall. You're going to start being attacked. If you are not on a horse, if you don't have your mount, what you want to do is your roll button, hold it down, and you can run. So it speeds you up a little bit. This pillar here is going to give you a map fragment, so you'll be able to see the area better. That's what we're trying to avoid. So I'm going to use Torrent, my horse, to carry on. And there's the big dude that we need to uh, try and avoid. If you get up close and personal with this guy, he will stop firing his arrows. That's going to be the final one that he fires, but he's still going to attack you. So you need to try and be careful. Oh, I mean, he should stamp on the ground. Okay, never mind. I've taken him down. So, after you've killed him, or you can just run straight past him, head up these stairs here. And you're going to come into the castle and interact with this Site of Grace. It unlocks a checkpoint. Boom, you can fast travel back here whenever you fancy. From this site of grace, what we're going to do is just keep moving forward and step on this pressure plate. Take the elevator up. When we get to the very top, we're going to run up these stairs and go straight through the main like courtyard for Castle Morn. So just try and ignore all the combat. If you're sprinting by holding down your roll button, you'll know if you've annoyed anyone because you will have, like that, your HUD will pop up. Uh, your HUD's going to pop up, and whilst you're running, your stamina bar is going to go down. Ow, 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 ow. You can climb faster on ladders by sprinting. So bear that in mind as well. We're going to get to the top. And I'm going to have to deal with these. So what you're going to do from here is you're going to go up the stairs. And if you sprint whilst you're holding your shield button, you can hold your shield up. You're probably going to need it just to be safe. Go all the way to the end. Drop down on the right. And you can touch Grace. And then rest, which will reset all the enemies. So after resting, what we're going to do is stand up. And if you look over the southwest edge, we're gonna, just going to drop down. We're going to follow this around. For this gap here, make sure that you sprint jump just so that you can make it over. Then drop down into this area. Hopefully I can get a stealth kill. There we go, lovely. We got a pickled turtleneck. An earth uh, slime that's dropped on me. So be very quiet whilst you're here. But what you need to do 
is avoid that slime that's coming out of the door. We're going to crouch, but we're going to speed ourselves up. And halfway along here, we are going to drop onto this. So from here, what you want to do is... I need to find the right area. I think it's there. If we drop down, round the back over here, you can grab a tarnished golden sunflower with three of them. But then what we're going to do is we are going to sprint jump again over towards this tree, the southeast. So sprint, jump, and then just keep jumping. And you're going to drop onto here. With this part, make sure that you're landing on these beams. We're going to drop into here. So there's one beam. I'm going to slowly move along, grab this. I've got a level 2 smithing stone, which will come in handy for leveling up weapons. And then hopefully I've done this right. There we go. So now we're going to drop down. There's going to be some enemies down here. Ow, 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 ow. Run to the door. There we go. All the rats are dealt with. I'm going to grab that. I've got myself a rune arc. And then, as soon as you come out of rat door, go round to the left, left again, and you're going to have a sight of grace. So make sure you discover it, and then rest. And then this is where things get tough. So, as you get back up, if you come over here, Go onto this little bridge. Be careful of the jellyfish down there. But drop yourself down. Run over to this mist. And it's going to trigger a boss fight. I've done him. Oh my god, I've done him. There we go. Grafted blade great sword. Oh my god. There we go. I managed to defeat him. A bit of spam of the barricade shield, and yeah, that is it. So, after successfully taking down that arsehole of a boss, if we go to our inventory, not inventory, I keep doing that, equipment, we go to the second hand, I cannot use it at the moment, but I've got it there ready for when I can, the grafted blade greatsword, Unable to use this item effectively with present attributes, but you can still equip it. So we're going to have a look at that absolute beast of a sword. And if you two-hand it, so hold Y on your controller, and it's right bumper or left bumper, you'll see your character grabs it with two. I believe it goes down to a requirement of 27 strength instead of 40. So if we have a quick look at its attack, the light attack. There we go, very nice. And the heavy attack. It's, uh, it's very, very slow. Right, so I've come back to Gatefront. I like this ruins. And uh, yeah, I've stripped my guy off. Just wearing a little like poncho thing now, just so I can actually move around. Because <laughs> I couldn't roll or anything like that. Because the weapon is ineffective, just purely because I don't have the required attributes to use it, when I go up behind an enemy, it's really fucking cool, but it does no damage. So what I'm having to do is block an attack, and then do that, and then that, and oh, the guy's still not dead. Oh, there we go. So I've killed an enemy. Whereas... If I come up here and I reset that same guy, very quickly before we wrap this one up, if I lock on with my normal weapon that is effective, I go up behind them, boom. So one stabby stabby, they're dead. So because it's ineffective, you can't do anywhere near as much damage, but you can still use it, you can have fun with it, and when you've got yourself leveled up, it's there to have. It's an absolute beast of a weapon. Make sure you don't have it equipped because it will still add to your load. So that was a look at how to get the best weapon from the very start of Elden Ring. And that is going to do it for this video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it.